fart day. We are, these days, uh, we do it once a week, and it's a lot of live wrestling to get kids conditioned and shaped to, to be able to, to wrestle hard for six minutes. Uh, today, Spartan Day, we are doing a surrender match. Surrender match means get a you shake hands, and you go until somebody quits. So, hopefully, they last a long time. Well, Spartan Day, wait under my thinking was a day that was just almost all wrestling and hard drilling, hard uh, hard conditioning, and then like the whole day was that. So it was, it was probably primarily considered a day to develop mental toughness uh, because the idea was that if you could wrestle for 77 minutes, you can sure wrestle for six minutes just to build your mental toughness and your uh, ability to just press through really difficult times. Came up with the idea, reading a book from uh, Wrestling the Iowa Way. And that's where I got the idea, and I started doing it either in Lee or Phillipsburg, and either way, it was Panther Days when I started. That I came up with the idea of my own, and then when I switched to Blue Valley, it was Tiger Days, and when I went to Norton, it was Blue Jay Day. That wasn't really cool. It didn't sound as cool. And when I came to the East, it was smart. So, real good start to the day. We got everybody on the bus, ready to rock and roll. Well, I just completely person, left Mr. Bullington in a foxhole. I mean, one, it was bad. One person missing, not a big deal. I ended up being the head coach, but you know what? I tell you what. We're gonna be able to, to make it there, and you know, his mistake isn't gonna hold us down forever, okay? Well, we gotta raise him up. That's what I was smelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, lunch hour comes by, well, fifth period. I've got class off. I'm like, oh crap! I don't have any money. Go down to Rutledge's office. Rutledge, give me cash now. He won't give me cash. He tries to pretend like he doesn't have it. So you know what I do? I get on the horn with chopsticks. I say bourbon chicken ASAP. They say 25 minutes. They try to get me to order more food other than that, but what they don't know is bourbon chicken's like four meals in one already. They say, okay. They go, what else? Uh, an egg roll. They actually got two ones. An egg roll. What, what else? else? And you're like, crap, panicking. Can't think of anything else. She kept else. saying what else. I felt like I had to keep ordering. Hey, don't hey. talk about Maggie like that. I love so, her. So yeah, Maggie is amazing. Nice Maggie's, Maggie's the nicest. Yeah, Maggie's a super nice gal. Maggie should run mm -hmm. for like city council. She or would something. honestly, she would probably get elected because ev she knows everybody in Lincoln. She does. Yeah, seriously. So anyway, um, I get back to school. I have six minutes. I'm chowing in the parking lot. I get about one sixteenth of this thing eaten because it's like, you know, literally 16 meals. And I go to class and then I brought the remainder of my chopsticks with me to the bus, made it exactly at 3 p.m. as guaranteed and have a nice semi-hot meal to enjoy on the bus trip up to Gretna. Go inside, we're gonna find a check scale. You're gonna check your weight, then I want you to get shoes on. What we're doing is we're playing around with the routine, figuring out what's best for us to be able to perform our best when six o'clock hits. Okay, so um, one of the things that we're gonna do is get a good hard workout. It's gonna be about a 20 to 30 minute workout. If you check weight and you're on weight, maybe you could drink a little bit, drink up till you're about um, half a pound over because you're gonna lose that in the workout. But I want you feeling good by the time six o'clock hit. So because we do this, we're gonna get, you know, kind of the our legs underneath us, get our timing on our shots, get down, get everybody down to weight. We'll weigh in, 
then you won't need to do as, as hard a, or as long of a, a warm up because you already did it. Maybe a 15 minute warm up is all you need to get ready for, you know, essentially your second match of the day. That first one is always the hardest. So we're gonna get that one out of the way with a good, good workout. I know a lot of you are cutting weight and that's not like the ideal thing you wanna hear, but get some liquids into in you so where you're gonna feel good and be able to make weight after this workout, get our timing down and then you'll do a shorter abbreviated warm up before the duel starts. If you shower. <laughs> you got yep. that on Think about that. Right? Better for your skin. So he's not showering? Coach Keenan McCurdy it's thinks good it's, it's good to shower only two times a week. Or I said hygiene. two or three. <laughs> you know what that's called? That's, that's called a distortion yeah, of the facts right I there. Should, you should. Yeah, that's called a negative spin, and I don't like it. You and I will not be privy to every your distortion of the truth. Jacob, what are you doing? It is copyright. They copyright. Jacob, what are you doing? I didn't do I didn't All right, so taking on Gretna High School tonight should be a good matchup. Uh, they came up from Class B, I think, two years ago. They've been a super solid competitive team in Class A ever since. So we're looking forward to some good matchups tonight. Premier matchup will probably be 195 pounds, Noah Sprick, who's ranked fourth, fifth in state. Somewhere in that re region will be taking on the third ranked wrestler in state. So looking forward to a good one there. Hopefully Noah can uh, come away with a victory and bump himself up in the ranks a little bit. Cole Tolene giving up the first two takedowns, just getting right back on his game, getting to his attacks, not quitting wrestling for one second of that match, okay? And that's what happens, guys. A guy gets a couple takedowns on you, and you just stay in his face. The next thing that guy knows is he's like, crap, I thought this was I thought this was supposed to be maybe an easy match, or I thought I could... And all of a sudden, you're in that guy's face, you got a takedown on him, you're right back in his face, you got another takedown, the match is tied, you dog him out, you get a major decision. <laughs> Conditioning I thought we need to work on. Guys, the number one way you are going to get in shape for wrestling is by wrestling hard in the practice room. We're gonna run sprints, we're gonna do all that, but by far the best way you can get in shape for wrestling is wrestling hard. Are you challenging yourself on a Spartan day? Are you pushing yourself in that six minute match to where you can't even stand up after you're done? We had, you know, I think maybe two years ago we talked about it, wrestling every second of the match. 360 seconds are how many seconds are in a six minute match if it doesn't go into overtime, okay? You need to wrestle and be focused on the next second, every second. You gotta be moving to the next thing. You gotta be thinking on the mat. And I think, you know, Noah Sprague dominated a very tough opponent, but 
wrestled poorly for 10 seconds. And that's, that's part of that is the beauty of wrestling is that you could be down 14-0 and you can still win the match, right? And that, that goes for the guy winning or the guy losing. So 360 seconds, you've got to be willing to put forth your best effort. That team was a greedy team. That team was a team that was not as skilled or talented as we were, but they they brought it tonight. And they wrestled, I would say, overall their, their performance in 360 seconds, matched ours, or their effort did, or their fight did. And we want to turn that on its head, right? We, we want to be the one winning the 360 second matches. We've got some technical things that we need to get better at. I think overall, again, proud of you guys. You guys are a great team. You guys, we've got some incredible leaders on this team. We've got some incredible just men on this team. And I and I think that showed, you know, it would have been easy for Noah Sprint to throw his head gear and throw a fit, but you know what? He walked off the mat like a man, you know? And I think we had some other ones like that too, where we were disappointed, but we, we walked off the mat like a man and we know we're resetting and we're moving forward. Guys, that, that that's what makes Lincoln East wrestling right there. Family on three, one, two, three. Family. Family. So here's the deal. So Rod got yelled at by the ref last night, and uh, he was a little he's a little butt hurt about it. So you now he's butt, you can say butt hurt. He was a, he's a little butt hurt about it. So now he's reading the rules. Rod, what do the rules say? Or give us the situation. I don't. I I'm not talking about this Why? on camera because I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna self incriminate. I'm not gonna self incriminate. Just look uh, it up rules. Refresh on rules. Did you know? that on the line is in bounds, okay? You need two supporting points, okay? So here's the feet, okay? In bounds, out of bounds. Oh wait, hold on actually, guys. Contenses are considered to be in bounds if the supporting points of either wrestler are inside or on the boundary lines, okay? football doing these One, videos. two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. Uh, don't six, you do that, that second eight. part, dude. You're such a nerd. What's the left? All right, here we go. Let's Pick up go. date. I'm literally, was, I was going at you for like two seconds and you didn't notice. Oh, yes. guys, no, 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 no. Yes, it's gotta be yes. free. It's gotta hey, be free. it's free song? Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Dang it. Celebrate. But it was for a good reason. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I lost, I lost the schoolyard game Woo! to the kid who got shoved in. Trash cans when he was hey, in yeah, middle, in his coat, elementary school. It's amazing coat. Adidas coat over weird coat. He's the guy yes. who got pushed in lockers as a kid, and I just lost a schoolyard game to him. <laughs> my my confidence is at an all time low. Thumb war, Jeff. Yeah. Hard fire on the stage over outside. Let's stand up. Go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> she got the council bluffs. Classic. Checked in. We've got weigh-ins in about 30 minutes. Uh, super pumped for this tournament. 41 teams, 150 ranked wrestlers, three nationally ranked teams, two-day tournament, get lots of matches. What's really great about this tournament is that they wrestle out every place. So your most experienced guys at the end of the tournament are going to be wrestling some of the best in the Midwest, and your maybe less experienced guys are going to be wrestling people like way more uh, to their experience level. So really excited. Probably my favorite tournament of the year besides the state tournament. Uh, this is also way tougher than the state tournament. So should be a good one. Check it out. Here's you got this, you got this. This is what he's trying to do. Okay. He's trying to put out Max's 100th pin. So Look how sad he looks. Wins. So that we didn't tweet. when we didn't. Max breaks his record, then it's no. not as big of a no, deal. No, no, we didn't tweet about Max's pin last night. Like literally all the me oh, like the wrestling it. media in Nebraska is tweeting about his 100th pin. We didn't we did nothing about it. No. He's like, oh, we'll just it's, it's just all it's everything's about Max. I'm like, well, he's, it's because Max is breaking all records. No, it. When you, I think we should have done it. He tweets. was super upset about it. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> Literally, everyone tweeted about it except for Lincoln East Wrestling, and I thought that was a travesty. And uh, when he win, and if he breaks my record, if he doesn't, God forbid anything bad happens in practice. Wow, it sounds like you know, he's planning something. You know, sounds like he's planning something. Then, the, you yeah. know, then it could be tweeted about, but. I'm just saying, I think it was a travesty. Max is heartbreaking. I think he's gonna he's entering the trend. He's gonna enter the transfer portal here pretty soon. He's going to the portal. Dang look, it. At it. look at it! He's, look, look at it! He's hanging out with the Scott guys already. Do it! Let's go.
So as a coaching staff, we try to do our best to be presentable, correct? Professional as well. Professional looking. Professionalism. So as the great head coach, Mr. Uh, coach Rutledge is over here, shoots out a text last night. What did that text say, Coach Rutledge? Khaki jeans, blue shirt. Khaki jeans, blue shirt. Obviously, I got the memo. Coach B got the memo. Yet, the co-head coach, Mr. McCurdy, shows up in blue jeans and a white polo. So I have one question. What do you have to say for yourself? How do you, what do you wake up to? He, get, on his way to, on his way to the school, he goes, oh, well, boys, I didn't get this till now, when he's at the school already dressed. Do you, how do you Mind wake you, up? Mind you, we have more jeans to a tournament in five years. I roll over, turn my alarm clock off, and then what do you, you do this with your phone and you're like, beep, okay, done. Do you not get text notifications? Get out of bed, no. the phone stays on the charger. Do you not get text notifications? When my alarm clock goes off, it shows alarm, snooze, or stop. Y'all have iPhones. Yes, and then it pops up. I usually hit snooze twice. Then it pops up and says Once something. the snooze has gone off twice, I hit stop. I immediately then go straight to the restroom to relieve myself. <laughs> which is what a normal human being would do in the morning. I put my clothes on, I make my coffee, I get ready to exit the door. The last thing I do before I walk out the door, I grab my phone off the charger. You do Because my phone it. dies extremely quickly. No, no, no. You charge Wait, it overnight. What was going through your head when you don't brush your teeth? Clothes, clothes, all right. What should I wear for clothes? I, I want to know the thoughts going through your head at that point. Go. I was in my closet. I have a blue polo and a white polo sitting right next to each other. I said, you know what? Two-day tournament will most likely go white's first day, blue's second day. Bam, white polo on my body. So you just It's kind of like my headgear. Once it's on, it doesn't come off. So, but you said you did not get it until you were at the school. So you did not look at your phone past the alarm. Nope. Okay, don't. first off, put your pinky down when you're drinking water, okay? <laughs> Second off, that's, an, that's a lie. You definitely look at it, and if you don't, then that's, that's a personal flaw you have, and you should work on it. I turned off my badge notifications. No, you, no. Controlled my life too much. So you only get a text when it has like the little notification thing at the... Yep, so you, you gotta have silence, a red mark. You put on, you put on, you silence, or you silent mode or whatever it is, all your texts. I like to respect the present. Okay. New thing I'm no. on. No, not true. But so that's the case. While we nice all match, it. and he's kept that thing on all day because uh, um, oh. he's the outlier and doesn't oh, look at his phone. Got a message. Oh, oh no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh uh, just wrapping up day one of Council Bluffs Classic. Great tournament. A lot of tough teams. Uh, we are. We brought 13 guys with us. We're down one guy that we had last night for the Gretna duel. Uh, overall, uh, mixed feelings about the day. We had several guys, you know, reach the gold bracket and scored a lot of points. And, and several guys are going to be in the quarterfinals uh, tomorrow. But uh, we're losing several close matches that I'd like to be winning. A lot of matches where it feels like we just don't have the energy or motivation to pull out that takedown or, or hold off the escape. And uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow to be able to maybe overturn some of those and get a little bit more energy and enthusiasm with this team. What are the reasons, what's the reason why we come to these tough tournaments? Why don't we put together tough tournaments? Get better. Get better. Get better. Why? How do you get better? By wrestling, By, uh, wrestling tough yes. matches. Wrestling tough yeah. matches, right? Losing, winning. Absolutely. Getting better in, in each of them, getting, grabbing experiences from each of the matches. Listen. We don't come to these tough tournaments just to get, you know, pins and move on and, and be happy and proud of ourselves, right? I mean, if, if we wanted, if we wanted to just win matches, we would go to different tournaments, and we could we could inflate our records and we could we could, you know, feel really good about ourselves. But the only way to grow is in the moments of discomfort, right? And if I'm going to be honest with you, I felt like we were in a lot of matches yesterday where we just wanted to get out of the discomfort. Right? We wanted the easy win, we wanted to be able to step off the mat and feel good about ourselves. And when we were in those tight, tough matches, we kind of wanted, we wanted to get out of there. We didn't want to have to face that adversity head on. And uh, I had a conversation with Keith yesterday, nothing, just, I, just, I just said there's going to be easy matches, and, and Keith had a couple of easy matches, and then there's going to be matches where you're going to have to get really gritty and really tough. And what I want you to do, and I want the rest of you to do as well, is to embrace the moment when it's no longer easy. 
Embrace the moment where you've got to get greedy and you've got to get tough and you've got to want that and you've got to desire that. All right, if you get an easy match, you pin, you get, you, you make your way off the mat, you didn't really get any better, you didn't really grow from it. The purpose of this tournament is not for all of us to have, you know, to have 14 champions. The purpose of this tournament is to become the best version of, of ourselves. And the only way that we can do that is to go out there and to give everything we've got and to, in the moment, desire to be in that tough spot and be able to fight more than the other guy, whether we win or lose, whether we score more points or not, we should be able to put up the fight and the effort that is necessary to leave it all out there, okay? I would say probably one of the proudest uh, I was of yesterday who was watching Keith Smith in one of his matches against a tough kid, that uh, a kid that isn't used to losing. And the kid was getting upset because Keith was kind of taking it to him. But it was a close match. It was competitive. He was pulling his finger. He was kind of getting dirty. He started getting chippy, right? The kid was pulling his fingers. And I'm not saying Keith wrestled a perfect match by any means. There was moments where he talked back and he was he was back and forth with them. But the way that he finished the match is he, he kept on refocusing his head. Okay, the kid was pulling his fingers, doing cheap things. He didn't allow it to affect him. He allowed he 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 brought himself back to making it about the wrestling. At the end of the match, it could have been easy for Keith to get in his face and say, "Hey, what's up? Look at the scoreboard, right?" But he didn't. He stepped off the mat like a man. He made it about the wrestling, and that's what we've all got to do and to continue to get better. And Keith grew in that match. So you can grow from wins and you can grow from losses. And I thought Keith showed tremendous. Um, growth in that area and and we need to do that I just wanted to kind of highlight that because I want you to have that mindset in anything that you do today whether it be mentality or uh, toughness grit uh, whether it be skill is just think about getting better today and make it about the rest all right let's have a good round breaks up Keith Smith Spartans on three one two three Spartans Hopefully we can uh, get some W's and finish the tournament strong. You're right. 
I don't want to block. Do what? There it is. Uh, just wrapping up Council Balls Classic. Uh, I thought the boys responded really well today. Uh, there was a lot more grit on the mat. We were winning some closer matches. Finals, we had uh, three guys make it to the finals. Uh, Brandon Bowser beat some top ranked guys in the state of Nebraska. Just had a really good day. Um, just developing. I think he's getting better in all phases of wrestling, which was really awesome to see. Uh, Max Mayfield put in, put in, you know, does what Max Mayfield does. He's just uh, relentless attack and and uh, and in, uh, beating the Class B two-time state champion in the finals for the second straight week, week in a row next to Oldenburg. Um, and then Grant Lyman uh, was was this close to, to beating a top-ranked guy as well. So he, he ended in second place. But so really proud of our, our uh, upper tier guys still looking to um, you know for for our younger guys to develop and, and get this experience today wrestling the best competition it's it only bodes well for the future now and so this is probably the the last national tournament that we'll go to and now from here um, we'll, we'll see guys more in the state of Nebraska and I'm looking forward to um, yeah just just putting this experience that we had at this tournament um, to the test next week and, and, and beyond just getting ready to scrap with Lincoln Pius X, about three blocks away from Lincoln East High School, Battle for A Street. If you want to see how this one ends, make sure you subscribe to this channel on the end screen right after this. And if you guys want to keep up the day to day with Lincoln East Wrestling, make sure you uh, follow our Instagram, our Facebook, and our Twitter. All that you can find in the description below. Thanks for watching. Check this one out in the next video.